What's up, gang? It's your boy Austin here, back with our latest episode of Shipwreck 64. I have been doing some brainstorming about these codes that we have gathered along our journey. We have all sorts of all sorts of stuff. Something in particular that I've been thinking about a lot is this code right here. Romeo, Lima, Romeo, X-Ray. And as I was, I was just kind of like looking at the codes and I noticed that this code here, which we get from the keypad when we first um, look at it, it says the code is RXBC. And then when you play the audio file, it's like Romeo, Lima, Romeo, X-Ray. And all of those letters in that audio file correlate with the code. There's R's, there's X's, there's B's, and there's C's. And so I was thinking, well, that's got to correlate somehow. And since the keypad in that area is numbers, I was thinking like, okay, the first number is R, the second number is X, the third number is B, and the third number is C. And for the longest time, I thought it was like doing like T9 crossover, like ABC is one, DEF is two, and stuff like that. I need your help. But then I was thinking, what if it's like the amount of R's in that code, and then the amount of X's in that code, and the amount of B's and C's? And so we are going to sprint to figure this out and see if, if this works, I'm going to lose my mind. Because so far in the playthrough, we found a lot of stuff yesterday, and it was super fun. Um, but we, I was like stumped by the end of it. So we are going to see if this is going to work for us. Um, so what we need to do first is fail at Walter's game. <laughs> My dog literally just jumped on the door to be let out. Like, of course, the second that I start playing, he's like, mm, I gotta go. So, we're gonna go through and do the same thing that we did last time, i.e. failing all of the games, because it seems that when we fail the mini games, we are inadvertently unlocking uh, areas like um, secondary areas of the map, and inside of those secondary areas of the map, there are keypads to unlock even more areas of the map. Wow, we just nailed that first try, okay. What if I just started speedrunning Shipwreck 64? It could be, could be kinda cool. It could be the move. Yo, Loki, what if I just started speedrunning <laughs> Shipwreck 64? Oh, damn. Snagged out of midair. Brutal. There's not... There's not blood in the, uh... In the 2023 version of the game, is there? I don't think so. Well, we've definitely got our routing down. It's just... Uh-oh. Caught in midair again. Whoopsie. Sorry, Walter. Oh, damn. I was going to do it not even looking, but we're not that good. I do want to test something, though, because I'm convinced that on the third try, the character moves without you. Okay. No, it didn't move. But I was so confident that, like, when I was stop, when I stopped moving on that third attempt, that Bucky would move like on his own. All right, so we got Spooky Bucky. Another thing, we need to start talking theory. Here's my theory so far. 
something happened with the people that were playing the mascots. Oh, that just opens right away, huh? Nice. Something happened to the actual humans that were playing the mascots for, like, promotional videos and stuff for this game. I think Bucky, whoever was playing Bucky the Beaver, killed all of his co-workers, like the person that was playing, like the person in the Olive suit, the person in the Giovanni suit, and the person in the Walter suit. Um, and I think because of that, the 1997 version of this game is haunted. That's why when after we fail Giovanni Goose's minigame and we get that cutscene where Bucky is just like smashing someone's head into a wall, um, we hear like the stop it, stop it. Like I wonder if that was Olivia who voices Olive. I wonder if that's her telling like Bucky to stop it and that like her screaming telling him to stop it is like haunting him and that's why it plays randomly like in the game um and yeah i that's what i have so far um another tangle in that is that i think that the guy squeaks to Korga who worked with Connor, who was the main developer. Um, he worked directly with him on this. So there's this whole meta angle to it. Okay, so we're going to try this. All right here, let me grab this. So the code is RXBC. We have Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Okay, so six. Then we have X. X-ray, X-ray, so two. Oh my god, if this works, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna feel like the smartest person in the entire world. B, Bravo. So we have Bravo, Bravo. Okay, so just, right? Just two of those? Yeah, okay. So just two of those. And finally, we have Charlie. So we have Charlie, 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 Charlie. So four. Okay. Oh my God, please work. Holy shit. Stand by. Who's this Romeo guy? It fucking worked, bro. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Dude. I am so excited. It fucking worked. We're geniuses. And we're finally on the bridge. We gotta push this button. Whee! Oh! This is like a cutscene. Oh, snap, dog! We have JD, we have Chief Wolf. We have Stumbler. Okay. Whoa. Did they just shoot up? I like looked away for a half a second. That's so cool. Oh, we can control again. Okay. F f yeah. Whoa. What the fuck are you? Whoa. What are you, dude? What is that? Is that the mannequin that Stumbler was like eating with in his cutscene? I don't know. I don't know, but it's pretty intriguing. Okay, we're saving that. We've got wolves. Wolves all over the place. Oh, we fall. I wonder if that's who's like watching us in um in the Walter cut or the Walter minigame. Dude, I am so smart. I mean it's actually crazy how smart I am. It's just 
and it, it's uh, undeniable at this point. I might be the world's smartest gamer. And, you know, I'll happily take that crown. Okay, we have... Holes. Okay. We get to jump through these. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right. What's up here? A door on the floor? A floor door? Floor door. Ooh, a spiral staircase. Ooh, this music is not cool. It's solid gold inside of here. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, we're going deep. We're going deep down into the depths. Oh, okay, ground. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, wow. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Bucky and Olive Cogware Games um, I hate this We have Stumbler and Chief Wolf Oh dude this music sucks Okay we have Big Chief with no eyes. Great. Oh no, it's watching us. Oh no, it's watching us. Oh! <sighs> oh man. I'm so on edge. This game is so good at making me feel so on edge. Anything? No, we have a button. I wonder if I opened up the... Probably opened up the gate. Oh, dude. This is the worst. Whoop! No, oh, made it. Gate unlocked. Alright. What's up, Walter? Oh, what the? I think I pressed the... Oh! Where are we? The smell's atrocious. We should leave. We should save. Yeah! We don't gotta walk back. You can open the menu and hit respawn. <laughs> and we'll be on our merry way. Sorry, Bucky. I think we have to face some consequences here. It says, the dam. It says, the diner. It says, the pool. Whoa. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Oh. What? Oh, do we have to do like a countdown? Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of like a way to like watch and see where the uh, other numbers are. Okay. Hmm. I don't... They all start at 15, so there's no way to... Um... Oh, that still says 2. Huh. 
Why does that say two? That says nine. That says four. That says three. And that. What? Two, three, four. That's three. That's four. This is nine. And this is two. And we have trees that appear. And we have a floor that appears. Oh boy, we have more codes, gang. Okay, let's just see what's in here real quick. Can you please listen to me? My friends are in danger, and you think now's a good time to explore this dump? Hit the respawn button. Use your damn head, idiot. <laughs> okay. So... What was it? What did we say? It was 6223? Or 6224? No, it's got to be some combination of two, three, four, and nine, right? Two, three, four, nine. I don't know, dude. Four, nine, two, three. Let's just try it. Oh, dude. Dude, we are cracking these codes right now. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Hi. What brings you here? Are you lost? You should get back into place. Hey, Bucky. What are you doing here? You've got friends to save. Go do that. Hey, Bucky. Yeah, right, dude. I'm freaking exploring. Hey, the game just opened up a freaking Chrome window. Holy shit. Uh... What the hell? Uh, okay. Cogware Games. Oh, let's in inspect. Okay, first of all, before we get too deep in that, let's just read what this says. We are Cogware. Cogware Games was originally an idea that three friends out of Silicon Valley had one night, founded by Connor Thomas, Elizabeth Baker, and Harry Waters. We are a collective of fans of the new and thriving world of gaming, and we put innovation at the forefront. With our first ever demo of a game, with our first ever demo of the game Blunder Cover, being a hit with crowds over at local conventions in 1995 and a thriving partnership with the Broadside Animation Company leading to the creation of the magnificent Shipwrecked. We won't hold back on getting our hands dirty with game development. After all, that's where the name comes from. Every cog in a machine has to be worked together to create a meaningful result. Cool. Here at Cogware, we here at Cogware are in it for the players and for moving forward. We've dabbled very heavily into three-dimensional graphics, working with the top of the industry professionals to create worlds of depth, depth, color, and life. While we make games that are bright and friendly, you're not getting a squeaky clean experience if you play a game from Cogware. Instances of adult humor and some edge to our games are all present. We believe that games should not be designed to a single demographic, but rather shared among many demographics. We don't make kids games, but we also don't make adult games either. Think of us as a fine line in the middle. 
let's keep innovation at the forefront. We can make something ama- we can make some amazing things together. Did you know the game engine used to used to create our games is called Unreal Engine. It's the same program used to create the shooter game by the same name, Unreal. It was licensed to us by Epic Games, but it's soon to release to the public. Oh yeah. That's like before, yeah. Shipwrecked is a game developed by us at Cogware, partnered with the Broadside Animation Studio. Bucky and his friends need your help. After a sudden crash during a routine fishing trip, Bucky, that's what they were doing out in the water. I was always curious about that. (laughs) They're fishing. Bucky ends up on a mysterious island where his friends appear to be apprehended by a pack of wolves for disturbing the peace. Embark on a puzzle-based adventure as Bucky wanders the vast island of Nulaterra, helping his friends work off the damages, fix your boat, and get back home. Made for the new Nintendo 64 console and powered by Unreal, Shipwrecked is a game that puts you into the shoes of Bucky's imaginary friend. Not Bucky himself? Shipwrecked is a game that puts you into the shoes of Bucky's imaginary friend, as you must help guide him back to his homeland and maybe meet some friends on the island along the way. With a fun, puzzle-based gameplay structure, many endings, and dynamic gameplay, you'll never wind up with the same playthrough twice. This game would not be possible without the wonderful partnership between us at Cogware and Broadside Animation, who helped fund the development of this game as well as providing reference photos and even making a full commercial for our game. Bucky sends his regards. Well, it looks like we can click on this picture. Hey, everyone! I need your help! Step into the streaming realm with Bucky and his friends. Explore a vast open island and hopefully bring your friends back to space. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang! That's a great commercial. A new adventure awaits. <laughs> Developed for the Nintendo 64, Shipwrecked is a game that places you in the role of Bucky. Not Bucky's imaginary friend? Places you into the role of Bucky as you guide him playing small mini games with his friends as a way to free them from the island in the midst of scary monsters that roam the forest or little rabbits with a clickable link that like to dabble in the arts there's no shortage of fun to do in shipwrecked and when it's over the game has many different endings you can explore as well many different possibilities to see for this project cogware has been brought on to the for this project Cogware has been brought on to assist with the development of the game, making models, programming, sounds, music, and even some voiceovers. The game is very much a narrative experience, while maybe not as action-packed as Banjo, Mario, or most other platformers, you will have to really use your brain to move Bucky closer to his happy ending. Designed to take full advantage of the Unreal Engine, Shipwreck demonstrates many features that keep the game running smoothly on consoles, allowing for a fun and freeing experience. We encourage exploring. Maybe you'll find something once in a while that you may not have noticed before. Every playthrough is a new adventure after all. See you on the island, toodles. Okay, so this is like, this is like a broadside animations version there's like two different visions going on so broadside says this is our game and cogware is helping and then the last page said this is cogware's game and broadside is helping fund it all right so let's click on this link i don't think i've ever met a man as pathetic as you Is that the vandal? Oh, interesting. We can download the video. Hotel.mp4. 
It can play back speed. Let's do it at 25. Interesting. A new playing picture in picture. I don't think I've ever met a man as pathetic as you. Oh boy, are we about to go on like a pixel hunting adventure? What's this down here? Oh shit. Oh! Is that text? What are this? Darling Nathan. Okay. Oops. So... Let's go to this URL. that here um view page source dude weird let's let's view page source here um, so we have font, large, color, URL, GaryBG.jpg. HTML attribute value. Dog. What the hell is this, dude? Okay, that's the video. Gary background.jpg. So that's the the background it's like it's just super blurry collapsed children Is that I don't know enough about this shit. So we 
of Starling Nathan. So that's the HTML. GaryBG.jpg. There's two issues. Oh, here we go. Override content. I don't know, dude. Okay, let's go back to console. Right, it's unsecure. HTTP. It should be served over HTTPS. Interesting. Is what am I like editing this page? <laughs> okay. Okay, so super interesting. I Starlight Starling Nathan is cool. Gary BG that's great. Okay, so we found some stuff here. Uh, very interesting. Let's um, save. Hi. What brings you here? Are you lost? Okay. Should get back into place is a interesting um, thing. It's a note from Cogware. Whoa there. This room is designated to staff only. Feel free to hit respawn. Connor Cogware Games. It's a note from Cogware. If you really want to go down there, well, then feel free. Just be warned. Connor Cogware Games. Okay, let's go down there. Well, shit. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. None of this is making any sense. I want to go back to the island. I want to go back home. Is that not why you're playing? Look, we can do this, but whatever happens, that's on you. Am I clear? Good. Okay, let's listen. The label says peak shit. <laughs> what did it say? It hit her before she even knew it was coming. It started with loud screaming, reduced over time to mere croaks. Any will to swim away slowly drained away as she sunk down further into the water, polluting its natural color. The rodent stood a few feet away, watching the effects of his actions, and only began to walk away when she stopped struggling. K-J-U-J-B. Sure, let's write it down. Okay. <clears throat> what does this say? 
I don't know if this is going to mean anything, but we're just going to write it down. X, G, F, Q, F, X, F, K, J, F. Okay. We can take... Oh, good. Some light. We'll need it. So we follow the path of blood, right? I always just want to, like, look at everything, though. So the path takes us... Well, there's blood everywhere. Okay, there's a door there. There's a house here. Alright, let's go through this door. <laughs> let's go, baby. We are getting somewhere. They're lying. They're lying. Look me in the eye. What? Look me in the eye and tell me. Oh. Oh no, we have to fucking hide? Shit. Follow. God damn it. A helping hurt hand? I don't know. A helping nub by Stumbler and Wolf. A helping nub by Stumbler and Wolf about the authors. Where am I? Candle, computer, dwellers, beaver scratch, cipher guide, layer four. What do I draw? About the authors, Stumbler O'Hare. Stumbler O'Hare is a rabbit and an artist at heart. Growing up, he had been a massive fan of arts for, of many different forms. In the process, he began to experiment with art on his very own. He took up painting as his favorite form of artwork. He had painted lots of artwork, some of which would even be hung up in the Nola Terra Theater. One day, however, Stumbler was hit with a life-changing event which had left him without arms. A rabid wolf had attacked him, and while he did get away, he had, a, he had to live his life without hands at all. However, he is still an amazing artist at heart. Stumbler will be responsible for the drawings in this guide. Chief Wolf Chief Wolf has dedicated his entire life to f helping his fellow wolves who live on the Nola Terra much like himself. He lives in the outskirts and typically is found guarding the island, keeping it away from harm. He is responsible for the capture of Bucky, Walter, Olive, and Giovanni, and he wants nothing more than to help his fellow citizens. Wolf will be responsible for all of the writings and research portrayed in this document. Layer 3? Layer 3 is where you are right now. As you may know, the island is split into layers. For instance, Layer 1 is the island outskirts in any attached missions. Layer 2 consists of a pool, a diner, and a waterway. Yep. And now you're in Layer 3, the land of darkness. That's okay, though. If you come properly prepared, you should be equipped to either venture even further or keep yourself safe. To open the gate to move to the next zone, locate and charge the computer's to 3-3. Three, three. Once it's open, find the gate control and turn it on. Let's take a little screenshot of that. Whoops. Layer guide shipwreck. Candle. Your candle. Visual of your candle. The candle is your most important tool in layer 3. You are completely in the dark, but that's okay because your candle will light the way. Once you pick it up, you will have it for the rest of your time here. It will light the surrounding areas, keeping you aware of where you are going. 
Just know, however, when you leave these areas, you will no longer have the candle. You won't lose it. It will come back when you visit next, but it, if you don't need it, you won't have it. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. He showed up at the door again. I don't know what to do. Just something about us. That's the audio that played when we were doing Olive's mini game. I so I think theory mode. I think that's Olivia talking on the phone with someone, maybe Connor, and whoever was playing Bucky the mascot version coming to get her. Silver Tech Prime Computers. Computers are a very prevalent thing to come across in Layer 3. Silver Tech has graciously provided us with these computers, which we have stocked all around the place, as a good way to share information with newcomers like yourself. If you're reading this, either a friend has shared you the link to this or you've found it th yourself through a Silver Tech Prime computer. Press the big red button on the front when you find the computer and you will learn and you will be able to learn brand new things about layer three. Golden computers, however, will need to be activated with a timer. Once they are on, you will need to find each of them and turn them all on before the timer hits zero. Try to leave a map as to where to locate these computers. Gonna take a picture of that. Computer guide. Shipwrecked. Okay. Interesting. Dwellers. The Island Dwellers. Visuals of Olive and Giovanni. Dwellers, also known as Starlings are creatures who live in the darkness of layer three. Donning the faces of Bucky's own friends, they will wander around the dark, searching for any unfortunate little beaver who happens to stumble into their path. Awakened when Walter, Giovanni, or Olive are brought down into layer three. So that's where they go. When you screw up the minigame three times, they get taken to layer three. They will stalk around the dark and eventually make their presence known. You cannot rely on your menu to keep you safe. Look for a barrel and interact with it to hide away. While a dweller may follow you around in layer three, that doesn't mean they won't try to follow you elsewhere. Stay alert, you may not be as safe as you think. If a barrel or any other objects appear to be off or moving, repeatedly hit it until it vanishes. Shit. When captured by a dweller, you will be taken to a small room akin to that of a prison cell. Little do they know, however, your little rabbit friend knows the code. If you are trapped, the keypad to exit will be 7418. Remember that. If you wind up there, you will need this to escape. Well, let's just remember that. Let's just go ahead and remember that. Prison keypad code... 7418 Beaver Scratch Beaver Scratch <laughs> Just kidding Beaver Scratch is a language that is used by many many folks who reside down here in layer 3 To speak in Beaver Scratch you will want to firstly take your sentence for instance I miss having arms and now once you translate it, you'll get a very simple translation of that. Just like that. I hope you can figure it out from here. I'm an artist, not a teacher. Ha. If you need a sentence translated, feel free to send me a sentence to stumblerohair at gmail.com. So it's just H-I-J-N-L-M-N-H-I-J. QRST. So it's just one letter up. Okay, that's pretty easy. So, I'm glad that we wrote down those codes, baby. Because 
we have some codes already. So XGFQF, well, let's start with here. Dude, we have Beaver Scratch all over this game. Okay, so the when we first looked at the, or when we first inspected the tape recorder, when we first got down here, it said the title reads PKJUJB. Um, so let's translate that. So PKJUJB equals um, ABCD. L M N O P Q, so it's O H I J K J H I J I Q R S T U, so T I A. That's right. Interesting. And then this is W X, so W F G, so F A B C D E F, so E uh, L M N O P Q, so P A uh, E F, so E. W uh, E K H I J or so J I E uh, That's strange. So H I J K, so J A W X Y Z, so Y F is E D A B C D E F, so E uh, L M N O P Q, so P one, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so Q is P O O L M L M. I don't know, dude. Um, same thing. I don't know. Um, let's just put the stumbler O'Hare. Stumbler O'Hare at gmail.com. Um, okay, so what is HPPC? H I A B C D E F G H. So G O O B. A B C D E F G H I J K J Q R S T U V A B C. A B C D E F G H I J K L A B C D E uh, L M N O P uh, H I J A B C D E F G uh, L M N O L M B
H I J L M N H I J Q R S T A B C D E F G H So it there's kind of it's either like one above or one below. So good luck A B C D Q R uh, E F G L M N Good luck, friend. Hmm. So, oh, H I J K L Olivia. Gotcha. W X Y W uh, H I J so D A B C D E F G H H L M N O P Q R where we um, H I J K L where we lie. interesting okay so we did so we did figure that out so it's like it's either one above or one below and you kind of just have to use um, you just kind of have to use intuition maybe B time equals true could be something asked I'm gonna know the alphabet fucking forwards backwards crisscross sideways and in Spanish by the time we figure this out so I forgot okay <laughs> so these areas are a little complicated so I wanted to leave a guide here that helps you translate non beaver scratch codes for the sake of making this easier to digest I've given them fun names so here they are Shakespeare cipher oof this one's a doozy so you will first need to identify what it is you're trying to get there will usually be some kind of text saying code is dot 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 now usually each of those X's would be replaced with a respective letter from there you will need to listen to audio somewhere and count the time bro I fucking figured out the doozy on my own that's sick let's look for a Okay. For instance, APFT would be our combination. Let's look for A. It's a wonderful day today, friend. Apparently, when it turns to night, the sky turns purple. Amazing, ain't it? This, that would mean A would be four. It's a wonderful day today, friend. Apparently, when it turns to night, the sky turns purple. So P is one. Okay, sounds good. Oh, musicians, this one's for you. I was thinking about this too. In the pool, it says the code is E-D-E-C, and in that room it plays hot cross buns. The first note is E, the second note is D, and the third note is C because it goes da, da, da. E is the highest note out of all of those. So E, because like so on a guitar, it goes F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So you go So I was like shit. I forgot to mention that, but I was thinking about that too. Oh incredible. Picasso cipher. Oh right, because there's one in the museum as well. It's an art related code. So I'm happy so to say I'm happy is a bit of an understatement. It's my time to shine. 
So some of you might know about the art gallery attached to the diner, but if not, here's some photos Wolf took for me on our last visit. Now pay attention to those paintings. See anything off about them? They have numbers. Oh, they sure do. So green means nine, blue means three, red means eight. You can use these if you have a sequence of colors in a row. Yes, there are flags hanging above the um, barred doors there. There's two more colors, but they've honestly slipped my mind. If you see them, write them down. You'll need them. Conclusion. There you go. You've done a great job. Keep going, friend. Hope this helps. There's two more colors. I'm just going to take a picture of that. Just so I remember. Um, yo, this is exciting. This is cool, 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 cool. Picasso cipher guide shipwrecked. As if I, as if there's like another instance in which I would need a Picasso cipher guide. Layer four. There's a gate at the back half of the plaza. Look for it and you'll find it eventually. You gotta get it unlocked using these two simple tasks. Task one. Okay, so you want to get the gate open. Here's what you got to do. Step one, find the crystals. There's a computer laying around somewhere, and on it is a video that contains your answer. If you visited the pool, you know what steps to do next. Step two, find my tape player. I did record the code for future use, but I forgot it. Look around. There's a tape player somewhere with the workstation code on it recorded by yours truly. Maybe look for my little home away from home. Seems like a reasonable place to leave it. Note, play far away from Giovanni. He can hear these. Step three, start the task. Go to the sky hallway and look for the door with the music note next to it and press the button to begin. The monitors will instruct you on what to do next. Good luck, Bucky. Task two. So you want to get the gate open. Here's what you got to do. Find the batteries. Look for glowing green batteries. There will be one in the office, one in the rooftops, and one in the cave. Step two, drop them off. Bring the batteries to the computer in the basement. Drop them into the open box. Step three, toodles. You can go now. Be free. Truth be told, we don't know. We don't know is there. Truth be told, we don't know is there is a layer four or just how deep this all goes. For the longest time, it was assumed that it only goes to layer three, but recent searches have shown some kind of paradise down there. If you can find it, then by all means, you'll have my gratitude. I'm proud of you, Bucky. Good luck with your adventures. What do I draw? This has nothing to do with layer three, but as most artists experience at one point or another, I'm dealing with burnout, the cre creativity killer. Welp, this sucks. If you see this, why not toss me a suggestion on something to draw at stumblerohair at gmail.com. I'll gladly draw it. Update 2040115. Wow, you guys give me lots of suggestions. Thank you all. I will be getting to them to you soon. I'm not sure if I can take more requests right now, but if you ever want to chat, you can still send me an email. I've made more friends these past weeks than I have in my whole life. Thank you, friends. Wow, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Okay. Well, my friends, this has been such an in are too high for you to stay home. What did that say? There's a door there. Okay. Um, okay, my friends, I am going to end this here because I have a wedding to get ready to go to today. So we're going to have a little cliffhanger ending this episode. This has been so freaking fun. I cannot wait to see what lies on the other side of that door directly behind us. Um, we're going to find out tomorrow. I'm telling you that much right now because there's no way... I'm not playing this tomorrow. Um, yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
we're gonna go ahead and pause oh the menu is in beaver scratch i love that um we're gonna go to the main menu and i will see you guys tomorrow i promise you all right i love you kisses bye <laughs>